Good evening and welcome everyone. This is Shira for InternetMarketingGuru.com and I'm so excited to be here tonight interviewing Julia Stead, Head of Marketing, and Drew Thorne, Head of Sales for Ring Revenue. Ring Revenue is an industry lead leading marketing call marketing platform. They allow companies to increase their ROI through paper call campaigns. They've got an extensive new technology where they have lots of um, tracking and they have a patented technology that captures and converts high value customers and powers the leading performance marketing networks and agencies. Just a few weeks ago we were on the line with Mundo Media who are using Ring Revenue technology for their paper call offers. And through that interview, we got introduced to Ring Revenue. We're excited to hear about their technology. I know lots of people are on the call today interested in how the paper call tracking works, how to get telephone numbers, and how to get the most out of Ring Revenue. So let me just give a brief introduction here to Julia Stead, Head of Marketing. Julia joined Ring Revenue in August and she was just fresh off from her successful engagement as marketing management consultant for the Berkeley-based startup IPfolio, where she developed the marketing and sales strategy, as well as branding and positioning for the launch of a cloud-based SaaS product built on the Force.com platform. Prior to her time in the West Coast, Julia honed her digital marketing skills as an affiliate marketing coordinator and a marketing manager at Share Results, an affiliate network and software provider in Montreal, Canada. And we're also lucky enough to have Drew Thorne, the VP of Sales of Ring Revenue. Drew was CMO at Trident Marketing previously, where he was responsible for customer acquisition for several Fortune 500 brands. Drew drove millions of phone calls at, to their own performance call centers through traditional and non-traditional marketing strategies. So I'm really interested to hear his take on things. Before that, he spent nearly a decade at Commission Junction, where he launched and developed CJ Media and CJ Pay Per Call. Drew spent six years on the United States Alpine Ski Team, oh my goodness, and completed at the World Cup level. So, hello Drew and hello Julia. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Hi, Shira. Thanks. Uh, we're really excited to be here and to talk about our technology and uh -huh. Drew skiing. Yeah, uh, thanks. Yeah, we look forward to it. Thanks for having us. Awesome. So I'd like to just let everyone know who's on the call that you are welcome to send in your questions. Please type them into the chat box on the right-hand side of your screen. I am going to uh, show my screen. And so we're going to start talking a little bit of uh, what Ring Revenue is, what their platform and technology is about before we really get into a demo of their platform and into some techie questions for everyone on the line. So Julia, I'm going to give you control of the screen now and um, so that you can uh, show us some, uh, some cool things about Ring Revenue. So let me just give you control here. Um, yeah, so did you want to start off with some questions or I can just sort of give a quick uh, run through of what Ring Revenue does? Yeah, why don't we start a little bit with some background information about Ring Revenue, what you guys do, and uh, then we'll get into some questions. Okay, great. Uh, so, in a nutshell, we're a technology company. Um, our platform powers the, the paper call programs for all the leading performance marketing networks. So they license our software uh, so that they can offer paper call as an option to their publishers and advertisers. We, we built the, uh, the platform from the ground up and it provides a range of features, not just for the performance marketing world, but for all businesses and marketers that really care about the importance of phone calls as part of their marketing mix. Some of the, um, you know, the, the leading networks we partner with are affiliate networks like Commission Junction, LinkShare, Google Affiliate Network, Pepper Jam, and so on. But we also work with a number of agencies and with some direct advertisers as well across a spectrum of, uh, of verticals. And Mundo Media, for instance, is uh, another example that, uh, that you interviewed just a couple of weeks ago. Right, right. So you're talking about big networks that are basically using your technology to integrate uh, with their offers, right? Yes, that's exactly it, yeah. Okay. So they, they integrate, they license our technology so that on their platform they can offer these paper offers to 
make them available for their advertisers and for their publishers to, to promote. And when you say uh, you work also with direct advertisers, what does that mean? Well, it just means that our software platform is also available for um, businesses and advertisers that don't necessarily partner already with the network, but that need a solution um, in-house for them to track their campaigns and manage, um, manage everything from beginning to end for their call marketing. All right, awesome. Uh, I'd love to hear a little bit about um, what functionality, what kind of services you provide, um, you know, what the features are really of your service. Um, yeah, sure. So I've got sort of a, just a quick list here of some of the, the key platform features. Um, basically, we provide the platform for everyone to connect and make it really easy to, to get everything set up and, and started very quickly for call campaigns. So everything's in one place um, so that publishers, advertisers, marketing managers, and so on all have their own login and can set up campaigns and then um, customize their call filtering, review the individual call data, run reports, and, uh, and basically everything in just in one spot to manage their, their call-based campaign. Awesome, awesome. So uh, tell me a little bit about how you guys work with telephone numbers. What kind of telephone numbers would you be issuing? Do you, do you uh, create new phone numbers for your clients or can you use existing phone numbers? How does that work? Um, both are an option. How it usually works is, and this is sort of on the, this, this small level, is um, a business will have its own phone numbers already in place, but they need more. So we provide them with um, one 888 or 887 numbers um, to be able to drive a much higher volume of calls. So they just set things up campaign by campaign in the system, and then we provide them right away with the different phone numbers that they need to go in place in their different campaigns, like their their email newsletters or their offline um, print campaigns, mobile campaigns. We do it for any kind of marketing campaign, offline, online, or mobile. Awesome. Uh, so uh, let, why don't you show us a little bit about, uh, if you're a publisher, let's say, we, I know we have some Mundo Media affiliates on the call, and I know they're very inter interested in the tracking, and you've got a demo set up uh, pretty soon. But uh, why don't we go through how it works a little bit? And, and what I'm showing here is just a quick little diagram that, um, that we refer to that kind of breaks it down pretty easily and visually how the technology works and what the different steps are to get started. So um, advertisers will go ahead and create their paper call campaigns in the networks that they're working with. When they set this up, they get to um, set things such as the call quality filters, the payout criteria, and more. So Filters can be things such as um, accepting a phone call only during business hours or routing it to a different call center if it's after hours, um, filtering based on geographical location, um, location I mean, and so on. So once the advertisers have created these campaigns, um, then publishers will log in and apply to the specific campaigns that they would like to promote. Once, I mean, that's just the typical process when applying to any kind of affiliate program. Once you're approved, um, then the publisher can go in and grab their customized creative. The banners that we provide um, will automatically be filled with their, their numbers for their promo numbers for their campaigns. And they, so they go ahead and they, they launch their campaigns, you know, put the banners on their website, put the phone numbers into their offline campaigns, wherever, wherever they need to publish the phone numbers. Uh, then the calls start coming in, the consumer sees the, the publisher's ad and makes the phone calls, and that's where we start tracking everything. So first of all, only calls that meet the advertiser's criteria will be connected. Um, and depending on what the qualifications are for the payout as well, um, once the, the caller has sort of met the requirements, whether it be staying on the phone for more than a minute or calling during the right hours or so on, then the, the publisher will earn the commission. Awesome, and you're, you're not actually dealing with the payouts, right? You're just giving the criteria whether it's been filled or not been filled through the tracking, or how does that work? Exactly, yeah. So we're not the network at all. We just provide the technology for those networks to be able to, to track the calls and then for the networks to be able to pay the publishers. Right. So I, I assume you're giving the stats on, on two levels. You're giving them to the, uh, the actual telephone number so that the affiliates... Uh, can track their their uh, ROI, but you're also giving the uh, the affiliate networks uh, or the bigger networks some stats on how they're doing. 
Yeah, I believe there are actually three um, sort of levels of reporting. So the first would be, as you mentioned, the publisher level. So the publisher can log in and check their stats at any time. Um, when we give the demo, that's sort of the view we'll be taking. And we'll show you how in real time um, the call data is updated. Then you have the advertiser perspective. So each advertiser will have their login to the network to be able to run reports for all of their publishers' campaigns, um, as well as set up new campaigns and so on. And then um, at the network level as well, of course, the, the network managers or users can log in to, to see the reports on both the publisher and the advertiser side. Awesome. Let's, uh, let's move down this uh, diagram here and uh, see if we have any questions from the audience so far. You guys, if you've got any questions on what we're explaining, please type them into the chat box and we will do our best to answer them. I've got a list of some of the, the key customers that we work with. This is just a sample of, of some of the, the networks and agencies that license our, our software at the moment. Um, and yeah, we can just sort of leave it here. I've also got a bit of information on our company profile for, for those listeners out there who are interested. Just we've been, we were founded back in 2007. Uh, we're headquartered in sunny Santa Barbara. Um, we're, we've already expanded into the UK this quarter, um, and we're just really growing quite rapidly. That's awesome. Um, and I know that uh, for people who are into mobile marketing, paper call is a very high converting uh, medium to, to really make money. So you guys, if you haven't tried it yet, really get your feet wet and start working with some paper call offers. And uh, in a moment, we're going to do a demo and see exactly how this works on the uh, on the tracking side, which is probably one of your uh, one of the biggest uh, concerns for affiliates, we've got a question here from Stuart. Stuart asking uh, is asking about uh, PeerFly. So I'm not sure what your question is, Stuart. Please type uh, an exact question into the box. But uh, um, are you working with the PeerFly, Peerfly network? Um, that name doesn't ring a bell. Drew, are you familiar with No, I'm not. I'm not sure what the context of that is. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll Google it, though, on my end and see if I can... <laughs> I know it's a company name. I'm not sure. Okay. So uh, while Drew uh, uses the power of Google, <laughs> let's yeah. continue on. And uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about the growth that you've been seeing in paper call in, on the, in the market? So I know that uh, just yeah. a few years back, this was totally brand new technology. Why don't you tell us how, how fast is this growing? I mean, it's growing very rapidly. And I just pulled up some statistics here on this slide to sort of talk about it a little bit more. But basically, um, you know, over the past decade or so, a lot of media really moved online. And a lot of um, people just sort of tended to forget about the phone. But the need for phone calls never really went away at all. A ton of businesses still rely quite heavily on calls, for instance, most service-based businesses. Um, calls are crucial for them to, to get new sales and as well as maintain and retain customers. Um, so just some stats that I pulled up here are things um, that are pretty eye-opening, like how just including a phone number even on a, on a regular web ad includes, increases the click-through rate between anywhere from 5 to 30 percent. As well, uh, phone order values are one and a half to two times higher than online orders. Um, you know, call to conversion rates are much, much higher compared to clicks. Uh, and the publishers who are who are successfully doing um, paper call campaigns are earning upwards of seventy-five thousand dollars per month. So there's really a, a huge opportunity here in this market at the moment, um, and you know it's, it's a great opportunity for publishers to get started on. So I did find Supply. It looks like it's a, an affiliate type of network or um, some sort of network. Um, we don't work with them currently, um, but certainly. Uh, I will. I can take the action item to reach out to them um, to see if they uh, would like to leverage our technology to provide you um, the the ability to promote paper call based campaigns. Just on the back side of uh, Julia's um, sort of responses, there some of the key verticals um, that we're seeing in paper call um, are certainly uh, ones that you know may be interesting to note here um, that we're seeing sort of across platforms. We're not sharing any proprietary data, but just seeing sort of trends in industries. Um, definitely uh, insurance is a, is a wonderful vertical. We're seeing lots of um, high quality calls being generated across the platform. Uh, home service verticals um, such as internet and telephone and uh, broadband type solutions uh, in addition to sort of plumbers and uh, sort of immediate need things. Um, beyond that, uh, uh, education, travel uh, are also good verticals as well. 
Yeah, that's very interesting. Um, and I expect that uh, as more people become aware of this technology, more big companies become aware of it, they, they will uh, probably want to add this service on because getting someone on the call is, is a direct way to, you know, really get them into the company, especially if it's a recurring service, you know, like uh, uh, telephone services, internet services, and that type of service. So I, I can yeah, see where exactly. that's coming from, yeah. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've got, go ahead. I was going to say, I've got just one other quick um, slide here with a few more statistics. Just that look at the how big the market is um, for phone calls and offline advertising, which drives upwards of $25 billion, um, in inbound sales calls. I suppose it's strictly the online advertising market, which is considerably smaller. So it really is a, a huge market out there and a, quite a great opportunity. Yeah, this is this is amazing info. I, I can see more people coming on that were on the uh, previous interview, which is great. And I'm just going to let you guys know if you'd like to ask questions, please ask them in the chat box. And I think uh, before we do our demo, I, I do I do know that some people are interested also in becoming uh, maybe smaller businesses or medium-sized businesses that want to get started um, to offer pay per call for their customers, how would they actually go about doing that? Um, it, it's quite easy. We offer all the same core features for, for those small businesses that want to run their campaigns directly themselves that aren't with a network yet. Um, really the steps right now are to just give us a call and we'll get things set up for you right away. Um, we recently launched a very lightweight streamlined version of our technology on the HubSpot app marketplace called an inbound call tracking app. Um, so that's sort of a, a really lightweight quick and easy version for people to just sort of test it out if they're a small, you know, one or two person business that wants to just see how the technology works. Uh, as well, we're launching a new package on our platform this month in the next couple of weeks that's created specifically for um, small to medium sized businesses and smaller direct advertisers. So definitely keep your eyes out for that. That's coming in the next few weeks. But for today and for the next couple of days, just reach out to us directly. Um, at the end of this call, we'll put up our contact details, our phone number, email, and so on, and we can get things set up for you really quickly and easy right away. I have another question here. It may not be directly related to what you do, but um, you're mentioning that basically you're putting calls through to call centers. Um, so if someone approaches you and is interested in your service, do you also connect them with call centers, or is that totally their responsibility? How does that work on, on the call center end? Um, that's a good question that comes up pretty pretty often. I mean, we are clearly not a call center. We're just a technology company. But for, as for how it connects, um, Drew, did you want to sort of elaborate on that, how we work with um, the call centers and how we help connect businesses that have an existing call center, um, sort of what the, the partnership there is, how it's going. Yeah, so um, we basically make it um, as easy as possible and as seamless as possible for a call center or for any advertiser that um, whether they have a call center or not. So. Essentially, they are providing us a telephone number, um, either local or toll-free, where they want the calls connected to. So if it's a small business, it might be their telephone. Um, it might be their office line. In the case of a call center, it may just be a, a number that they pull from their phone system. They would provide it to us. We would essentially um, create a campaign inside of our solution uh, that's self-serve, as Julia mentioned. Um, it could be done. We can help you assist. Uh, in, in putting the number in there, or you can uh, do it yourself. But essentially, once the campaign is created, the number um, that is supplied by the advertiser um, or the marketer is put into the solution, um, and then that number is then, and we'll show you this through the demo, um, that phone number basically gets provisioned off from, and uh, third-party publishers, or um, if you're doing your own media, you would take provision numbers, new tracking numbers, essentially, that would be sort of published um, in search, online, TV, radio, etc. cetera, um, a consumer would call any one of those numbers or a prospect, and we would connect that call um, to the number that was supplied uh, into the interface, essentially. So nothing changes for the advertiser. They provide a number, and we connect the calls directly to that. Nothing gets interrupted. Um, the agent has everything that they would traditionally have. Um, a caller ID traditionally comes through. Um, so basically, virtually zero integration other than supplying us a phone number. Thank you. That's, that's very interesting. And uh, so you all, but do you also know uh, how to connect different call centers if someone's looking for that? Or is that totally their responsibility to, to find their 
their call center? Um, generally, you know, it's it's pretty simple. Um, we try to keep it as simple as possible. So it, whatever number that they would give us, just like when you know, if you called us, we give you a phone number. Um, it's just like that. So okay. basically, they supply us. The advertiser would supply us or the network uh, or the agency, whoever's managing the campaign, a phone number, that, and they would just say, "Hey, send all uh, phone calls to this number, please." And we would essentially create a campaign that directs traffic to that phone number. So generally, a call center will pull a unique tracking phone number from their, you know, Cisco phone system, for example. Um, if it's a small business, they'll pull it from. It may be their own. It may be their cell phone number. Um, it may be their uh, their business line, and they may have uh, different routing instructions on their side. But essentially, um, they're just giving us a number that they want phone calls to. That's that's pretty much the size of it. Awesome. We have a question here from Evgeny. Hi, Evgeny. Good evening. Thanks for jumping aboard. Um, he's asking a question. That's uh, he's a, a Mundo Media affiliate, and uh, he's asking a question whether when you have more than five phone numbers, how, uh, how can we track conversion? The ring revenue pulls won't work when we are not getting them to the landing page anymore. It's straight to the dial. I'm not sure I understand the question, but maybe you do. Do we need, the, question. Do we need clarification yeah. on the question? Can you, just, can you just repeat it one more time? So I understand it's a, it's a, it's a Mundo publisher. He's got five phone he's numbers. He's got more than five phone and numbers, and he's asking if he has more than five, how can he track conversions? Okay, he should be able to. Um, obviously, he can he can reach out to Mundo at any time. Um, and generally, the way we support our partnerships is if Mundo can't answer the question, they'll reach out to us, and we can sort of help them uh, with the question. To the you know because we're sort of powering the platform. Um, but basically the way our solution works is it, it provides all the, all the marketing and, and analytics from the phone call um, that we capture on the phone. So what we call a conversion, traditionally in our system, what we define a conversion as is one that meets the minimal criteria that the advertiser has, um, has basically built in their campaign. So for example, um, an advertiser might um, Pay for a conversion. Pay on a conversion of a of a unique call within 30 days. Um, that's looking for new service, for example, and the call lasted 90 seconds. These are all, for example, but that might be the criteria for the advertiser to pay a commission to a publisher. Um, so we deem a conversion as that. Um, some advertisers um, on Mundo and, and various networks have the ability to actually pass back additional data from the phone call and we will basically string all of the data points together so we we from our system see um, the marketing partner in this case publisher they've driven a call that met some criteria right so we know the marketing we know the source of the traffic we know some of the characteristics of that phone call it got then passed to an advertiser who's willing to accept that phone call and talk to that consumer we don't, um, we're not the call center, so we don't know if this consumer ended up buying something or, sign, or getting a quote or, um, uh, you know, uh, getting pre-scheduled pre for an appointment or a consultation. So if they do elect to send back that data, we would provide that back to the publisher. But as far as conversions are concerned, I think based on this question, a conversion is essentially, in this case, um, a qualified phone call that meets the minimum advertiser criteria. I, I'm not sure if that answers the, the question. Yeah, I think it. Conversion. I think it does clarify what data you see. I think the question has to do with uh, keyword groups where people are advertising with uh, AdWords, and um, there, I think there, he's talking about the data that he gets per keyword. I'm not sure if you see that data or not. Okay. So um, depending on how, this is, <laughs> we'll see if we can get to the bottom of this, a um, couple different ways to with keyword data. So um, if it's mobile uh, click-to-call um, and there's no landing page involved, it's pretty hard for us to see the, key t the keyword detail because uh, Google doesn't allow um, dynamic phone numbers to be used um, on, the, uh, on a display ad. 
However, if a publisher is generating traffic to a landing page, in other words, they're using Google uh, AdWords as a marketing tactic to drive um, consumers to a landing page, um, we are able to then um, back all of the data points that are relevant to a publisher to, to optimize to. Um, but again, we, we can't track if it's just doing mobile search and doing click to call for mobile search without a landing page. Um, they would the best way for a publisher to see analytics on that is, is to use multiple phone numbers. That one is exactly the question. One per match type, one per match. Okay. Yeah, this is the so question. He's, saying he's not sending them to a landing page. It's straight to the dial. And Evgeny is saying that with a limit of five numbers, it's hard. Evgeny, I know that uh, we don't have Mufid on the line from Mundo Media, but I know he did mention that if you do need to get more than five numbers, you need to talk to them, and they will give them to you. And uh, I don't think that this is uh, on the end of uh, ring revenue, uh, but maybe it is. I don't know. <laughs> no, no. That, I, th I think you ended just perfectly. That, that's exactly what uh, Mufid uh, would have said and probably did say. I didn't hear all of Mufid. I did hear the first 30 minutes of it. It was a, it was a great webinar, a great webinar and a great call. I just didn't listen to the entire thing. But, um, yes, if you need more phone numbers, definitely let Mundo know. They've got access to lots of phone numbers. Um, you know, I think whatever's reasonable, you know, they'll yeah. give you uh, at no charge. So, yes, if you're driving traffic to a landing page, you can get more advanced analytics um, on your marketing. If you are doing mobile search, click to call, um, you need, you're going to need more phone numbers if you want the analytics. So, that's so a I think, question. And, and yeah, thank you for answering that. I think um, there there may be some confusion, and, and perhaps we'll see that um, when we do a demo, but um, I think when a, when a a publisher is advertising with AdWords, you know, you're, you're also going to get the AdWords stats for, for your call. And um, let, let's talk a little bit about the tracking. Maybe we'll go into the demo and then go deeper into uh, what we can see in the tracking of the call. And I think that's going to clarify a lot of these questions. Perfect. Yeah. So why don't we go ahead then and get into the demo then, if that works. So um, I'm going to just close this. And we have um, Lorelai with us who's actually going to walk us through the demo. So. Awesome. Hello, Lorelai. Welcome yeah. aboard. Hi there. Thank you. I'm a project manager here, and I have the opportunity to, walk, to work across all of our different uh, network partners and help them get trained in the platform. So, um, so I was going to walk you through today um, how affiliates and publishers go about applying to pay-per-call campaigns, getting their tracking phone number, and getting their creative. Awesome. We can't wait. Um, yes. So can you see? Yeah, we can see your screen. and. Uh... Let's go very slowly so that after each type of thing you uh, describe here, we can give a chance for people to ask uh, questions if there are any, just to make sure that everyone who's on live is following along with your demo. So what we're looking at here is a publisher account, um, and I can see all of my quick stats around phone calls that I am driving and commissions that I am earning. Um, I can change my date range so that I can view data just for a specific time period if I want. Um, I can from here see any campaigns that I am currently approved to. Um, and if I want to apply to new campaigns, I simply click on the Apply to New Campaigns button here. Um, which then allows me to take a look at all the advertiser campaigns in the network that are visible to me. So I can see here, I can sort by category or by payout or perhaps the 7-day or 30-day earnings per 100 calls. Um, but let's say I want to take a look at an auto insurance pay-per-call campaign. So when I click into it, I review the campaign description. Now this is the description that the advertiser has created in the pay-per-call platform. 
So they're essentially giving me a little bit of detail around what type of traffic they're looking for. Um, I'm reviewing what promotional methods are restricted. And if I want to see everything that's allowed, I can show all so I can see which promotional methods are allowed and restricted. Um, I can see from the overview here um, that it's an ongoing campaign. With paper call, most campaigns are ongoing. They do not tend to expire. Um, and this right here tells me that the advertiser's website is not web integrated. So what that means to me as a publisher is that my tracking phone number will not actually appear on their landing page or their website unless there's a big green checkbox. So if you're the type of a publisher or affiliate who is driving online traffic to the advertiser's landing page, you would definitely want to look only for offers that are web integrated, but where pay per call really fills the gap is you don't have to drive only online traffic. Um, as we heard in your question from Yevgeny, you can also drive click-to-call traffic. Those click-to-call callers, they're not ever going to the advertiser landing page, so if it's not web integrated, that's okay, because I'm still going to get commission for the phone calls that I drive. I can see over here the call center's hours and the time zone, um, the, any geo-targeting regions, um, and then here I'm presented with the payout terms. So this says that <clears throat> the payout is $15 per call if the caller pressed one and it was during the hours and the connect duration was greater than a minute 30 seconds and it was in region. So if these terms um, are agreeable to me then I can go ahead and provide a profile. So I'm just going to tell the advertiser a little bit about my promotional methods. I will use display and I agree to the terms and click Apply to Campaign. Let me, now, pause that you, campaign let me pause you for just one moment. I want to point something out that I'm not sure that everyone noticed, but it's really important for you guys to notice that. Um, if you notice that advertisers' restrictions for hours were quoted in Pacific time, and you really want to pay attention to the different time zones if you're using AdWords, to make sure that you're uh, sending the, that you're synced in your time zones in your AdWords account according to the publisher, uh, sorry, the advertiser restrictions. So that's really something to pay attention to. Otherwise, you're not going to get a payout for that call. Great point. I think you also have um, some controls around the geographic targeting in AdWords as well. So both the time zone, um, the call center hours, and the geo-targeting would be useful to reference. Yep. Absolutely, yeah. I'll let, I'll let you get on with it. Thank you. <laughs> um, so um, I was approved to this campaign here. And now I'm going to, I'm directed to our Get Started tab to then determine what my next steps are. So I wanted to just point out this platform does have links to getting started video, which if you haven't yet watched, we highly recommend it. Um, but essentially this tab here was built to help you figure out what do you need. So if you're looking to promote on mobile applications or offline directories or offline media like television, radio, newspaper, or out-of-home billboards, then all you need is a phone number. If you're looking to promote this offer using online text, such as blogs or content review sites or emails, then you need a tracking phone number and a tracking link. 
If you're looking to promote this offer using creative, like banners or print creative, video, radio, anything that includes both a tracking phone number and creative with my tracking phone number, then you'll need creative. Now, we do have some advanced features that are also available. We touched on them earlier um, around using ring pools to track additional keyword insight or maybe some custom parameters. But for this example, what I'm going to do is get creative. And then I'm able to see the different banner creatives that are um, assigned to this campaign. So let's say I like this banner and I want it customized with my tracking phone number. So I'm going to specify the media type that I'm going to use and I'm going to, for my own tracking purposes, I'm going to put a note that this is for my Yahoo display by. And I want Ring Revenue to customize the banner for me. So we're doing this in real time. You can see that we assigned a tracking phone number to this publisher. And I'm going to preview it here. And you can see that I have now have an image file with my tracking phone number on it. And in the platform here, I can take the HTML code for this creative, which includes the link and the image source, and I can put it into my media placement. So we're going to pause just here for a second and show you just exactly how the tracking works. So I'm going to call in. I'm going to call the phone number that's featured in the banner ad so we can just pretend that I'm um, you know, a potential customer that came across this publisher's ad and is making the call so that you guys can hear what the process is like and then we can look at the reports afterwards and see how the call was tracked. So I'm going to put it on speakerphone. Let me just dial here. So 888-305-3767. going to call, put it on speaker. This call may be recorded. Thank you for calling on our show. For a simple quote, Please press 1. For all other inquiries, Actually, please press 2. I'm not sure if you guys heard that, so I'm going to try calling one more time. I'm just going to turn up the volume one moment. Easy. For a simple code, please press 1. For all other inquiries, please press 2. So I'm pressing 1 for a simple quote. Thank you. The representative will be with you shortly. Okay, and so I've hung up because we don't need to continue down the path of this sort of test call, but that sort of gives you an idea. Um, I see the ad, I dial the number, I'm presented with some quick call filtering of, of how they want to route me as a potential customer. I'm a customer that asked for a quick, simple quote. And so now Lorelai's going to show us in the reports where we see this call being tracked, how it shows up. Sure. So in reports, here. I mentioned earlier that you can look at quick stat view, but our detailed reports um, up here provides really great insight into all of your different promotions. So I can drill down to um, the time period that I want to see, and I can look at phone calls that I have driven today, and I can see the calls that came through. Um, if I'm including today, then I would see my campaign right here at 1.44 Pacific time, which was exactly one minute ago. Um, two phone calls came through. The first one, which wasn't very audible, so then we called back a second time. And you can see them right here. My promotional phone number description of Yahoo is populated in the report. Now this call was not a paid call because it did not last the 1 minute 30 seconds that the advertiser required. And I can look right here in the reporting to see how long it did in fact last. Um, we give you a little bit more information behind the phone call. We tell you what city and state the caller called from um, and whether they called from a mobile or a landline. And 
than any key presses that were made. So here was the phone call where we pressed one, um, and then I can take a look at my reporting that way. Now, if you were using ring pools to capture that search keyword, that would then also appear in here as another column, um, a column for keywords and search engines. Awesome. This is great. Okay. Uh, very, yeah, it's really easy to read this report. I'm not sure that everyone knows what ring pool is. Maybe you could uh, go back to that, um, to the previous. Sure. Where you Actually, you bet. And the platform here is built loaded with help information. So right here, um, I can just click into the help file, and I can access information about ring pooling. We've also got a video. Um, it's about five minutes long and it walks you through what ring pools are and how to use them. Um, essentially, a ring pool dynamically assigns a unique phone number to whatever you need us to assign it to. A unique phone number to a keyword or perhaps you need unique phone numbers assigned to each session ID or sub ID, any type of parameter that you want us to capture, we can do so. It is an advanced feature in the platform, um, so I definitely would recommend spending some time watching the videos and um, accessing the help files for more information about it. So I think my question is really whether this the ring pooling is something that the uh, affiliate network would be assigning per creative, or is this something that the, the affiliate, the publisher, can actually control? Great question. So here I am in my publisher account, and I can request that my account be enabled for ring pools. And I simply check the box and, and, and then request the network to enable my account for ring pools. Um, most of our network partners will automatically fulfill on that request. And if you have any specific um, assistance that is needed, don't hesitate to reach out to us. That's awesome. Uh, Yevgeny, I think uh, this may be of, uh, of a lot of interest to you. I'd like to encourage you to log into Ring Revenue later on and to check out the ring pool video if you're not using ring pooling yet. Uh, this may be the answer to some of your problems. All right. Okay, so we really, yeah, we wanted to keep sort of the demo for today at the focused on publisher login and sort of more at the top level. Um, we're happy to do follow-up demos with anyone that would like a more in-depth walkthrough of the system as well as you know, advertisers or or, um, or small businesses that would like to sort of see it more from, from their perspective as well. They said, we'll put up our contact details at the end, and, and we're happy to set up demos for anyone who would like a more in-depth look. Um, but are there any other sort of initial questions at this point? Uh, let me give people a chance to type in any questions. Guys, if you have any questions about this amazing demo, please type them into the chat box on the right-hand side of your screen. We'll give you a moment to do so. Uh, wow, I've learned a lot about this. I can't wait to get going. And it um, looks like a great platform. You've got uh, very easy to use. You've got a lot of help in there. And um, I think my, my main question is um, when you were in your publisher account and you were getting, uh, you were applying for uh, basically to run an offer, I, I would have assumed that that would be done on the affiliate network and not within Ring Revenue. So I think that might have uh, been a little bit confusing. I'm not, not sure. For example, I don't see the, um, I see advertiser campaigns, but do you know which advertiser this is? For example, if I'm registered to, as a publisher with more than one advertiser, is there a way for me to know uh, which advertiser's campaign is which? That's a really good question. And, um, and it is a commonly asked question. So Ring Revenue doesn't have our own network. We don't have our own publishers. We just have the technology. And then every network that we work with that uses our technology, they have offers created for their pay-per-call advertisers. And you would know, so if we were looking in the Mundo Media 
call performance marketing network here, we would see the Mundo Media pay-per-call advertisers listed here. For this demo, we didn't make it brand name specific, so that's why we're seeing more generic um, campaign names. And um, so basically, if I'm registered with more than one affiliate network that works with you, I would be logging in separately to see my ring revenue stats? Is that, is that basically what you're saying? That's exactly right, yes. And then we make it very easy for you to toggle between the different networks by simply um, the click of a button, you're able to hop from network to network to manage your campaigns, look at reports, and pull tracking numbers. Yep. Awesome, that's great. Um, so I'm going to check the questions and see if we have any more questions. Thank you very much for your demo and answering all these questions. And um, we have a mixture of uh, beginner and advanced affiliates here. So Leonidas, hello. Um, let's see if I can uh, decipher this question. When you go through has offer portal to a ring revenue publisher, you get stuck in that specific publisher and cannot switch to another publisher. Any ideas? Yes. Good. Uh, that is a known issue. Some of our networks are, um, they manage the logins, meaning your username and password is managed through has offers. Um, others, we manage the username and password. And that is, um, that is a piece of integration that we would like to work with has offers to improve. All right, Leonidas, please let us know uh, if you have any more questions. It sounds like a uh, has offers issue with their integration. And unfortunately, not every advertiser or every affiliate network really is doing the same type of integration as I, as I understand it. Um, so what would, um, I know that we also have some people that are, might be interested in, uh, in becoming advertisers. Is there, is there any, are there any recommendations that you would give to avoiding these types of issues for people to consider before they approach you? You know, I mean, it really just depends on the network you're working with. Um, you know, um, you look for the distribution methods that you want to achieve. Um, and each network does integrate with our technology a little bit differently. Ultimately, the bones are the same. The skin might just look a little bit different, um, but uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but that, does that answer your question for the most part? Yeah, absolutely. I think we're we're now uh, deep in the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, there we go. I know. I love the galaxy. It's great. It's uh, we're all virtual. We've got people on from uh, lots of different countries here, so I know everyone loves that picture. We're back in the Ring Revenue uh, demo here, and we're taking final questions before we wrap this uh, interview up. So I'm going to give you guys a chance to ask any more questions. Evgeny was trying to figure out how to get more than 20 numbers. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, you got to control your uh, your ad groups there, Evgeny. <laughs> uh, and actually, that does that reminds me. There is another feature. So when you're doing click to call, um, yes, you know the the traffic simply stays on the phone. The consumer clicks and the phone call is initiated. Perhaps you might want to use a publisher landing page, which serves. Uh, the ring pool dynamic code automatically and you can you can build a published landing page that is mobile optimized and the phone number will dynamically change based on what um, ad word or search engine that the user typed in and clicked on your ad from um, and that can again be mobile optimized so that could be one way to still leverage ring pool technology without you having to manage 20 plus different phone numbers. Let me just see if we understand your answer. Um, how would I identify such an offer? Um, so it's, it's not really um, offer driven. It's more a feature that is available to publishers. So today you can either drive traffic to the advertiser's landing page or maybe you're driving traffic just to place the phone call. 
Um, and in that case, perhaps you want the traffic to go to a mobile optimized page that you've created. Um, and that would be uh, a feature that we have. It's just simply called Advertiser Landing Page. Let's see. I'll click into the campaign. And right here under Advanced Links, I can create my own landing page. So I am an affiliate. I'm joined to this offer, and I want to design my own mobile optimized landing page, which Ring Revenue hosts, and therefore that dynamic code takes place behind the scenes. So that could be one solution there. And we'll work with you offline, Yevgeny, to solve your problem. Uh, I love it. I didn't. That that's a great solution, uh, guys. Uh, take up uh, Ring Revenue on their offer to help you out. This looks like a big solution here. So to add a new landing page, I guess you'd have to have uh, you'd use the creatives of the advertiser and everything. I know we don't have time to go into to all that, but um, what happens when you actually uh, click that? Do you need to get anything uh, in advance or? Um, it's all built into the tool. It's um, just as much as this this um, user interface is easy to navigate, and um, we built it so that it would be intuitive. So is the feature right there to build your own landing page. You know, it's a, a simple WYSIWYG editor. Awesome. Uh, let's uh, let's see if we have any questions. Uh, for people who are interested in this feature, I don't know if you guys have tried it out. Um, give me a shout out in the chat box if you guys have tried out this uh, uh, advanced links, add a new landing page that, uh, that is offered here. Uh, maybe uh, it's, it's allowed on some of the offers that uh, you're approved for. And uh, give you a chance for final questions for the Ring Revenue team who's graciously stayed on for a full hour, giving us a demo, answering our questions, and really clarifying the uh, functionality of their platform and their technology. And it's very important to understand that they are the underlying uh, technology, the gears that are working underneath all of the uh, advertisers. So if you guys are working with uh, you know affiliate networks to get different offers to promote, it's important to understand what's coming from the actual advertiser and what is coming from Ring Revenue, and I think that we did a good job of clarifying that out. Todd, hi Todd, how you doing? Todd is talking about uh, CPV. Oh, you're talking about Peerfly, I assume. Is Peerfly a CPV network? Maybe. I know that they're a, a network. I haven't worked with them uh, personally, so I'm not sure. Um, let us know if you've got any questions. Um, Evgeny is mentioning that he's recycling numbers for keywords. I'm not sure how that means. Um, Leonidas is asking, oh, this is a great question. For an image on the ring pool landing page, what, what do you place in the href for an image? Um, that's a good question. I'm going to just check with Lorelai on that one. You can upload an image to the um, publisher landing page there, or you can um, provide the image, the URL, the image source URL. Either way, I believe we support either way. So you can either upload it or uh, point to it with the image source. All right, so uh, let us know if that answered your question. We have another question from Manu. Hello, Manu. Welcome aboard. Manu says, I'm late to the party. Sorry for that. Well, we're glad to have you on board. I have a question regarding my different Ring Revenue accounts I've created due to multiple affiliate networks. I can see my logins on the Ring Revenue dashboard, but swi switching to one or another account does not work. Is there a support ticket I can open about that? Um, yeah, so I think we did touch on that earlier on. Some networks manage the, um, the login and passwords in the network, and other networks allow revenue to manage it. Um, so you'll want to work with your network um, and whoever they're powered by to solve the problem. 
All right, thank you, Manu. The ones that you can't see, you need to log into their networks directly to see your stats. I think that's the answer you're looking for. And if you're not sure, then uh, contact the network and uh, ask them about that. It's an integration issue about how they chose to integrate with Ring Revenue. And um, it's, it's an interesting topic. I can see it's recurring. So um, this is really on the uh, network side, affiliate network side. Guys, if you're an affiliate network listening in on this call, um, this, is a, this is a pain point for your affiliates. So please think about how you're integrating with Ring Revenue now and in the future. Uh, let me see if we have any more questions. Uh, Evgeny is saying it's a WordPress type editor. I guess he's talking about your uh, what you see is what you get editor for the landing page. Correct. Correct. I'm um, just uh, going down the wow, lots of questions, guys. You're so great. Um, Evgeny's asking, did you find out anything about Google Voice numbers um, to make your own pull? before sending to Ring Revenue. No, I didn't find out about the Google Voice. Uh, Mufit is supposed to get back to me on that. We'll follow up on that separately. But why don't we ask uh, the Ring Revenue team, uh, how do Google Voice numbers work with your system? I, I think this is true. Um, I think you're, you're going to be able to, you could use those as long as you're able to redirect them to the tracking number. Um, you could potentially use those. But I think your best bet is to get numbers from in this case, Mundo, um, if you need more than five, I think that's going to be the best way to do this. Uh, we'll see what Google does in the future. Um, I, I do know, and this is public information, that um, they're investing a lot. This is Google. Um, I, I was at a conference and I saw their mobile strategy being rolled out by their product team. And of all the things that they showed uh, that they want to do in mobile, I would say the one that they were the most excited about was um, around click-to-call. Um, so I think there's going to be a lot of changes, um, and I think as a publisher, um, and as publishers and advertisers and networks and, and agencies, et cetera, um, it's going to be important to sort of stay tuned to see what how Google rolls out new feature sets. Um, some of the stats that I heard were that they're driving about 15 million uh, phone calls a month through uh, mobile click to call, wow. um, which is pretty staggering. And um, the click through rates just in mobile uh, mobile search when a phone number is present in a in an ad, so just, this is just mobile, just mobile search on Google. Um, they stated that just including a phone number inside of the ad um, incre increased the click-through rates between six and eight percent. Wow, that's so, very high. Um, pretty significant. So obviously, for Google, they're making more money. Um, they're happy, and obviously, as a marketer, publisher, advertiser, network, agency, etc., um, definitely want to get phone numbers integrated into mobile ads. No question about it. And whether you choose whether you choose to directly link them to a click to call or to a landing page, uh, it doesn't matter. Um, you can choose either one. Again, if you want more deep and rich analytics, if you've got more of a generic offer, um, I encourage you to send to a landing page. Um, you'll get richer analytics, and you don't need as many numbers. You can use ring pools, um, and you'll get you know ad group match type keyword, you know, all kinds of data points that you won't traditionally get unless you're using a ton of numbers. Um, so you have kind of both options, but um, anyway, I think you got. I think you know to, to wrap on the question, uh, Google's going to have lots of changes. Google Voice is something probably to keep an eye on, but I would focus more on uh, watching what uh, how Google unrolls uh, you know new feature sets to monetize mobile. It's kind of the big thing that's that's happening with across Facebook and Groupon and uh, Yelp and everyone else on the sort of mobile monetization. Uh, clicks are cool, but calls are better. <laughs> or better. <laughs> Yeah, and Google now has Google Offers, which is brand new and uh, is rolled out in the U.S. We're waiting for it to roll out internationally as well, so keep an eye out on that. Um, Leonidas is asking, I think it's about the Ring Pool. Leonidas, I think we need to get uh, Mundo on the line here about Ring Pool Offers, but you're asking about how do you include the phone number in the uh, href link, and if I understand correctly, um, the number is dynamically created, right? Or, or um, it really depends on your promotional method. Um, if you're running display ads, as you saw, the phone number is integrated in the creative. If you expect that phone number to persist through the user's visit, they click on your banner, they go to the advertiser's landing page, that's what we looked at when you want to make sure the campaign is web integrated. 
If it's not web integrated, your tracking phone number will not appear on the advertiser's landing page. So if you're promoting online traffic, you definitely want to make sure the advertiser's landing page is web integrated. Otherwise, you might want to promote offline or mobile or click to call or use a publisher landing page. Okay? Does that make sense? It does, it does. Um, we're just getting, you know, we're getting different variations of the same question. I just want to make sure that everyone yeah. gets their answer. And uh, I know that to you it's, it's really clear, but I think that as an affiliate sometimes it could be a little bit uh, confusing, especially if they haven't tried it. So guys, what I would suggest is to actually just um, try it out. Try out this ring pool technology, watch the video, and if you have any questions, I'm sure that both on the ring revenue side and on the on the affiliate network side, whether it's Mundo or any other affiliate network that works with ring revenue, they'll be happy to help you out. Talk to your affiliate managers and ask them exactly what you need to do to promote this specific offer. Everyone wants you guys to make money because when you make money, it means that this whole circle came full circle and it's, everything's working. So everyone is in the same interest here. And um, I think that this should wrap up our demo. Let's just see if we have any last questions by you guys. Thank you so much for being here and answering all these questions. We really appreciate it. Um, oh, it's our pleasure. Our pleasure. Let's see. And yeah, I mean, after the, after the call, we'll definitely um, send you a link of the video directly. So awesome. that way you can, you can post it on your site, the ring pull video, I mean. so. People yeah. have access to, to click through that very easily and get that extra information. Awesome. So I'm scrolling through just to see if there are any last questions. Um, yeah, sure. We're getting uh, thanks. Much appreciated from Manu. Uh, my question's been answered by Stuart. Oh, this is awesome, guys. Give us some positive feedback here. Everyone is um, giving uh, their all to get you guys set up and get going to make some money with paper call marketing. Um, tell us how we're doing and if you've got any other questions we've got. Thank you so much for holding this webinar and uh, guys such a pleasure to be here and I don't see any new questions. We've got a great job and um, all right so I'd like to thank everyone from Ring Revenue for uh, telling us about your technology, for doing this amazing demo, answering all these questions, being online with us here, and also for uh, being open to follow up. Guys, if you've got any outstanding questions, then you've got this phone number, 1-888-675-2007 to call direct. You can also contact Julia at ringrevenue.com or Drew at ringrevenue.com. Follow Ring Revenue on Twitter, follow them on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Ring Revenue. And don't forget to stop by at internetmarketingdrew.com and check out the webinar replay. Leave us a comment, and if you have any outstanding questions, please leave them in the comments or email me to shira at internetmarketingdrew.com. We're here for you. We'd love to see you take action. And we'd love to wish you a great weekend, which is creeping on us. Make some money this weekend. Take action and have a great day. Thank you, everyone. Great. Thanks, everyone, for, thank for listening. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. We're going to be posting the replay, guys. So we'll see you in the webosphere. Take care, everyone.